Hi guys, Mariah here, Nifty Thrifty Me on Poshmark. I am an online fashion reseller. If you're new here, I sell on sites primarily like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, and so on. Um, mainly, I am over on Poshmark at the moment. And today, I have a haul video for you from the last thrift with me. I will link that up here. I think it goes over here. Um, for you so that you can head on over there and watch that thrift with me video. If you're curious about any of this stuff, just leave a comment down below. I answer all comments on my YouTube channel. So, um, let's break it down. Uh, at this Goodwill, I spent $107 on 25 items. Um, which makes my average sales price $4.28. Keeping in mind, I did return three items from the last, from two thrift with me's ago. Um, once I got those items home, there were some major flaws that were not repairable. So um, I did return three items, but that probably did help because they were pricey items, but $4.28 definitely makes me happy. Um, the haul is right back here everything from the red jacket back. I am going to throw in a couple of other items that I did a short little um, stop into a Goodwill and another thrift store earlier this week and just grabbed one or two things quickly. Um, but let's get to it. Let's start. The first thing I have for you, I let me grab the tag off of there. You guys, if you watch my channel, know that I love, love, love finding the little trading company. This is a size large. There is some fur on there. There we go. Um, and this is a button-up sports, it's double pocket, button-up sports sweatshirt, um, long sleeve. I do believe it's 100%. I would have thought it was polyester, but it's cotton and nylon and spandex, so it's very stretchy. Um, good walking jacket, hiking jacket, just outdoor jacket in general. Nice basic piece, um, but really cute. For Duluth Trading Company. The next one is a Cote. I picked this up as a size medium because I have sold two sweaters in this colorway. Um, this is really cute. I love the print, just gray, black and white, or gray and white. Um, simple knit sweater, long sleeve, open front cardigan. Um, I paid $8.99 for it. The next sweater I got um, is plus size Lucky Brand. Here we go. Um, 1X, this actually fits me. This is a long open front cardigan. What I loved about it is that it's like a, it's not like your typical material. If you can see, it's like a textured terry towel material. Not quite like rug material, but definitely like a terry cloth. Um, here's the inside so that you can see soft on the inside but te very textured on the outside I consider keeping this for myself because it does fit um, but I try not to keep things unless I really need them but I just love the design this very pretty like Aztec diamond design very pretty pastel colors so that should do really well and um, lucky brand it says live in love the next item is this Zara and this is a size small Zara. I think it will probably fit a medium. It's looking pretty wide. It has a lace bottom. So it's like a tunic sweater. It's a very soft, um, thin, what's the material on it? Let's see. And it's like a, it's a, definitely like a silver lace. And the tag has been cut out, but that's okay. I will do some research on it and it will be in someone else's listing. So We'll be able to find out what the material is. It's definitely stretchy and very soft and in good condition for being previously owned. So I'm excited to list that. Been finding more and more Zara, which has been super fun. This next piece I got is um, Curio. This is Anthropology. I grabbed this because there was a very pricey um, long cardigan that is the same color block style as this. It has like an $80 comp on it so I'll probably list this for around um, 45 to 60 dollars is what I think it will sell for open front cardigan here we go so the sleeves are like a normal um, 
like mesh material and then you can see the that it's like black knit totally different material there let's go to the back here I just thought the colors were really pretty multicolor on the sleeves there just kind of unique and special I have a feeling it's probably an older piece it's a size large I think it would probably fit a size extra large too so we'll do those measurements the next piece is a pair of the Nomad Modern Slim Adriana Goldschmied jeans. I sold an Adriana Goldschmied um, jean jacket for like $65. Like it sold within like days of me listing it. Um, it's a very popular brand. No stretching here. Uh, they, I do believe. Let's see what's the material. Yeah, a 98% cotton. I try not to pick up um, really stretchy jeans unless they're jegging. Um, if I'm picking up jeans, I look for 98% cotton or 100% cotton um, just because they last a long time and they're just a skinny straight, skinny straight leg. Um, so they should do really well. The next pair, the next few items I have are all jeans. If you're not interested in jeans, go ahead and skip forward. Um, the next pair of jeans is 100% cotton. These are vintage. They are high cut line, 90s, like raver pants. There's the high embroidered there. They also did characters, um, like Jinko did. And these have a really big following on Depop, so I went ahead and grabbed them. You can see that they're quite dirty. I am definitely going to try and soak them and get the stains out of them before I list them. Um, they're somewhere on the knee there. And here's the bottom legs. So not too worn for the bottoms. Usually you'll find a lot of fraying on the bottoms and these aren't aren't too frayed, which is cool. So they are a size, size 36. Six, and I paid $6.99. Not too shabby. The next pair I found um, up in the kids toy section on the back wall, somebody had hung up a couple pairs of kids jeans. Um, and these are just American Eagle. These will sell, I'm hoping, for around 30 or 35 bucks. Um, and they're just a straight leg American Eagle jean. Um, junior size. Find the size. The tag says 26 here. I know it's in there though. Oh, here we go. Um, they are a US 26 30. Um, but they look like practically brand new. American Eagle is really popular. So that'll be fun. You know, I'm turned from the camera too much. <laughs> um, the next pair I found is another pair of ding, ding, ding. You guessed it. The training company jeans. These are thinner jeans. They are 100% cotton. Here's the back of the training company. Love that there. Nice light pair of jeans. They need a sweater shave. Right there is a little bit of, of pilling, pulling, um, but that'll clean up with a sweater shaver, no problem. Um, and the jeans, I just always do full measurements. I'm just finding that it's helping my products sell. Um, and if I don't do measurements, then I get so many people that ask for measurements, so I do my best. <laughs> Two pairs of jeans left. This next pair is a pair of, um, let's go here. These are Levi's and they're 721 high rise skinny size 33. I thought these were cute. Just straight skinny, very in style, um, high waisted and a nice, like not super dark wash, but a darker wash. Here's the back. String, I gotta cut that string off there. You can see the tag is like practically brand new. Levi's are definitely a top seller for me. If you're not picking up your Levi's, pick up your Levi's. The next pair is a pair of um, worn faded Carhartts. And I actually just really love this look of for a pair of Carhartts. Carhartts will last forever and ever and ever. Um, for as faded as they are, that tag is in really good condition. These are a size 
34.34. They might even be vintage. There's the tag there. I'll do some more research. I paid $8.99. Um, and I do believe I got my discount. I thought they were really cute. We'll do good photos. All right. The next item I got is a J. Crew. All right, the next item I got is a J. Crew uh, quilted puffer button down vest. It is button and zip. Here we go. There's the J. Crew. It is a size small. I picked it up because of the color. Um, it's this purple, or this bright purple color. And I think that this color is coming back in style, so we'll just have to wait and see. It should do good. This next piece I got is Outdoor Voices. This is my first piece by Outdoor Voices, size small, paid $2.99. I got it because, um, well, one, the price, and two, it is 89% um, merino wool and 1% nylon, so it's a little bit stretchy, um, but doesn't have enough spandex or nylon for it to degrade. And merino wool is really popular. And it's a very soft merino wool, um, which I'll mention in the description for sure. The merino wool can sometimes, even if it's thin, be a little bit itchy. So, Outdoor Voices, nice basic piece. And I did find that on the new wrap that came out. This next pair of pants, only $3.99. It's a pair size 27 of Anthropology Camo pants. Nice deep front pockets. It's got the adjustable waist on the side. These might be a juniors. Does Anthropology sell juniors? Maybe they're just a crop pant. Here's the back. They're definitely pretty short. There we go. I don't know if I can come back all the way. Um, but I got them because they're camo and because they're Anthro. And for $3.99, you know, I think that they'll get a little bit of attention. The next piece I found is also merino wool. This is J. Crew, right here. Got this up in the men's section. Um, it was $8, and it's just a purple and navy blue basic men's sweater. I don't think it was washed incorrectly. Sometimes people, for a size large, um, wool will shrink down and it'll look really small, and it just needs to be laid out and reshaped. But yeah, really cute. No like weird pills or anything going on. And I looked for holes, I can't find any holes. Um, so it's fun. A really nice basic piece for someone. This next one I paid $10 for, I got my discount. Um, it's a Burton puffy vest. I thought these snaps were really cute. Um, they are just, what are they? Yeah, they're full snaps there. Here we go. The fur is in good shape. Burton is very popular for a snowboard brand. Um, it is a smaller size, but I think it will still do well. Um, everything Burton I put in my closet sells. And let's show the tag here. Here's the tag. Burton size small. Um, there's no waist pulls, but that's okay. It does have um, full zip pockets for gear, and I don't believe there's an inner pocket. So yeah, nice vest. All right, the next one I found up in the men's section, um, this is a Star Wars branded Christmas sweater. I suppose it doesn't have to be a Christmas sweater. There's nothing too Christmassy about it other than the uh, snowflakes, but um, super cute. It was, looks like it was worn maybe once. There you go, Star Wars on the sleeve. Uh, I offered this to my partner and he uses a try it on, but it's a size extra large, so it's actually pretty big for him. And um, I'm not sure if I would wear it, but somebody's definitely gonna want that. <laughs> The next piece I got is vintage. Um, it's Bill Dilfer Designs. It's a size extra large, and this is 100% wool. 
Bill Billford, extra large. And here's the sweater. I grabbed it. Um, even though it's an older wool sweater, I did look for holes. I can't find any. It looks like it was taken pretty good care of other than um, being washed improperly. So it's definitely like very knitted up thick, heavy wool from being washed. Um, but for considering, I think the shape is still fantastic. So here we go. I keep jumping back and forth here. Just love the color, so it should do really well. Pieces like this always do really well for under vintage on Poshmark. The next piece I got is a Junior's um, North Face jacket. Button up, zip up jacket. Uh, paid $6.99 for it. It's a size large, 14, 16. We'll get this listed right away since it is winter. It's midway through winter. Um, there's probably a boy or girl out there that is growing that needs uh, the next size up jacket. Nice down um, puffy coat, full zip pockets, and um, waist pulls on the bottom there. And um, some colorful artwork. The next piece um, is this. Athleta Skort. Here we go. This is a larger size Athleta Skort. It is a size 10, I believe. Let's get in there. Here we go. It's a newer Athleta tag. Um, that nice thick material. It's got the pull tie here and it's got the zipper in the back for the gear, the keys or the credit cards or whatever. Um, side zip entry. Right there with the snap. The next pair of leggings I got, I have not tried these on, I thought about keeping them for myself, um, is a pair of Fabletics. This is the first pair of Fabletics that I've found. They are a drop waist, high waisted, um, tie waist, pocketed um, legging or yoga pant. I don't think they're like a tight legging. Let's see here. Once you get down to the bottom, um, I think that they're more just supposed to be like a loose drop waist yoga pant, comfy pant. Um, these are a size extra large. Let's find the tag here. Oh, size medium. Fabletic size medium. Um, they look quite big for size medium. I thought they were an extra large, but um, that's probably why I haven't tried them on. I still want to try them on. Are you guys like that? <laughs> the next piece is, we're two pieces away here. Um, the next piece is the, the Zella leggings. Again, that purple color, which I think is coming back in style. Um, these Zella leggings are in good shape. Here they are, size small. Um, no pilling, no wear on the crotch at all. Um, but we'll still do measurements. I think measurements for leggings are a little bit strange, but um, I just think it gives the buyer comfort, so we'll do it anyways for a size small. Sometimes um, products can be off on their sizing, so um, we'll do that. So Zella, yes, excited for that. And the last piece. And the last piece I got, I found this on the new racks, it was right on the end, is this really pretty Victoria's Secret um, lingerie top. It's got the clips down here. There we go. It has these really pretty little diamonds on the bow or crystals, sparkly crystals. And it also has those on the back right here as well. Little sparkly crystals there. Super cute, nice lingerie. Let's see what size is this. Clean. It doesn't look like it's um, been washed or worn. There we go. It's a third size 36B. Um, to me, it looks new. It's not missing any of the little um, gems on the bra there. No stains or holes. So that's exciting. I don't find a lot of Victoria's Secret and I definitely don't pick up a lot of Victoria's Secret, but when I do get donated Victoria's Secret, which I have in the past, 
um, the pieces have always sold for me eventually. So I just, this is really pretty, very delicate, very romantic. All right, getting down there, just two pieces left. Um, this is the only pair of shoes that I found. These are a wool Sorel boot. Here we go. Sorel's on the, down the bottom. They are a size uh, 9.5 again. Zip entry. Um, they're not a wedge boot, they're just a flat. There's a Sorel. We'll go ahead and we'll clean up this leather here, this suede-like leather. We'll give it a nice polish and we'll list them. Um, these should sell for between $60 and $80, so I'm excited to list them. Um, they're not my size or I would be keeping them for the rest of the winter for myself. The last thing I found over in the home goods section um, is this little anthropology printer. And it's like, it sits like that, so it's at an angle. There's no drainage, so you could do water plants in it. Um, or it could just be a little trinket like jewelry, table side planter. Um, but I just love the little floral design. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you'd like to become a part of this community. Uh, click the like button. Leave a little comment down below. Uh, if you have any questions, I answer all of the questions on my YouTube channel. And also hit the bell notification for when my next Thrift With Me video comes out so that you don't miss it. Thanks so much for being here, guys. See you next time.